Sensational 7 is brought to you by Game Masters. We begin this week's Sensational 7 with a pair of outstanding plays from Quincy University softball. First, against Upper Iowa with runners on base, Samantha O'Brien and Alana Viking turn a big double play to keep the game close. And late in that same game, down one to nothing, freshman Jessica Grimes puts the Hawks up for good with a two-run blast to left field. It was all the offense the home team would need to cap off a doubleheader sweep. John Wood's Dawn March turned a lot of heads with her play at number five. As she cuts to the basket, a great pass fake freezes the defense just long enough to allow for an easy bucket. Reagan Bringer makes another appearance this week against Parkland with a nice cutback on the perimeter and an even better pass to an open Adarius Porter. Good moves on the dribble help create points for the Trailblazers. Number three this week goes to Ellsbury's Scott Krager. Some players just have a sixth sense of where the hoop is. Krager is no exception. On the run out, he still finds a way to put points on the board despite an awkward angle to the basket. Marion County boys played the role of underdog against Meadville, but in the end played the role of giant killers. The Mustangs took down the top-ranked Eagles with a 54-47 win. And at number one, leave it to Randy Lee Plunkett. Against Chamoy, her late three helped force overtime, where Marion County would pull away and win it by six. All aboard for Columbia, and that's your Sensational 7. <laughs>